on any given Saturday in this great nation, 400 heavy metal old school drag racers and thousands of die hard fans join together for a flat out supercharged celebration of speed. I ask you to do one thing, and that's to run your vehicle all out. To see who will win $10,000 on Pink's All Out. It's gonna be mine here in just a minute. It's my money. It's going home with me in my pocket. Where gold and glory can be won with a drop of Rich's arms. Every arm drop counts. And the action off the track is just as wild as it is on. It's a heads up, no breakout. First one to the finish line wins. A lot of fun. Most people I've ever raced in front of. So get in, buckle up, and hang on for this e-ticket ride. We'll be going around 300 miles an hour at about 5.12 seconds. For Pink's all outtakes is on. We heard you guys were coming. It's like, we got to go. We have to go and watch. George's House of Horsepower. Welcome to Paint All Out. <laughs> come on in. Man, I'm coming here to see some races. Everybody's wanting to have the, the show here, so we're, we're really anxious to have this Paint All Out show. It's going to be great. This is caffeine. This is sugar. These are the two food groups we need to do this show. This two-lane blacktop is the home of some of the wildest door slammers east of the Mississippi. This is where it all started. This is where it's going to stay. And 400 racers with the need for speed. I got to get my need for speed somewhere. Uh-oh, that's work probably, Colin. <laughs> tell them, tell them uh, I'm busy. All right, let's get this party started. It picks all out at Atlanta Dragway. Now we're getting it going. You got the you know go pedal and the whoa pedal, and I really like the go pedal. Party fast, all out. Everybody's got a chance. This is heads up racing. Can't afford to go run NHRA Pro Stock, so it's about the closest thing we can do. Going across the finish line running 130, 140 miles an hour, there's nothing like it. Side by side with somebody, it's a blast. Look at this stressed out. Oh man, it stressed me out to drive something like that, that fast right there. It's a 1963 uh, Studebaker Hawk. I purchased it back in 1963 uh, after I got out of high school and then drove it for about 5,000 miles and then I went into service and when I came back from the service, I started driving again and put it together as a race car. But I can still drive it on the street. I always liked Studebakers. My dad had Studebakers and I really enjoy them. It's different, you don't see many of them. racing because I enjoy it and uh, it gets my adrenaline going. I'm 65 years old and I, I think I got a lot more years in me to race. Hey, it's all out of the pound of ice cream. What a deal. Dollar a pound ice cream? Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Everybody comes to Norwalk for an ice cream and the racing. But we're here. Ice cream, of course. I hope it tastes good. It's a really good deal. It's my ice cream. It's all out. 
Now that's what heaven looks like to me. I came to Peace All Out in my 1946 Brill bus. This bus was a 1946 Trailways bus. It ran from Brownsville to Dallas and was in service for over 20 years. This old girl has at least four to six million miles on it. It was converted by a guy here in San Antonio. We enjoy it. We, we go to nationwide events in our bus and our trailer. We're just different that way. <laughs> we just have to have something odd. It's completely converted. It's got all handmade Cypress cabinets and furniture, mahogany countertops, a full-size shower, bathroom, bedroom. It's, it's as nice as you can live in it. It's got a Road Ranger 10-speed with an overdrive and a Cummins 855 cubic inch turbocharged motor, so it'll fly. The Tactograph was a tattletale that you always used. The, to, it was a 24-hour trip computer that would tell uh, how long the driver stopped, how fast he went. It still works perfect. You know, this bus is probably going to outlive me. <laughs> for Ken Nelson and his Cool Bus Wheel Stander. Man, if I rode in that school bus when I was a kid, I never would have been late for class. A quarter mile 840 is 165. I think it takes more to race a bike than a car because you only own two wheels. We love uh, the Pro Mod racing because it's a heads up, no breakout, first one to the finish line wins. We got some motorcycle madness. Here in Gainesville. I run a quarter mile 840 is 165. I think it takes more to race a bike than a car because you only own two wheels. It's an 83 GS 1100. It's bored out to a 1260. I run about 930s on it. I've been racing about five years. 1983 GS 1100 bored out to a 1327. It runs 870s in the quarter. Drag racing a motorcycle is probably equal to, to racing a car, but it's a lot cheaper to go faster. I've done it for 20 years. I've never raced in this front of this many people. This is a pretty big thing, the pinks. You know, this is a chance for us to get on TV to advertise our sport a little more, more just cars, bikes do it too. And we'd like to get together and get a, a, a pinks all out for just for the bikes. I would be glad to race in a pink's all out for motorcycles just to uh, see where you fit in at. There you go. How about an old school Henry J. Racer? Kaiser Fraser had made the cars. These cars actually sold at Sears back in the 50s. This car was originally raced in, in uh, the late 60s to the late 70s by my Uncle David. My uncle sold the car in the late 70s, went through a couple owners, never got raced or street driven again. We looked for the carpenter 25 years later in 2004, and we found it in a barn in Halifax, Nova Scotia. You gotta love that Jay. Doesn't it just ooze with attitude? They're pretty rare cars. You know, everybody comes to look at this thing. You know, not too many people know what it is. Most people have never even seen it. That's why I like it. Yeah, I noticed there's another Henry J here. Uh, I think it's the only one I've seen. I'd be willing to do any kind of a grudge match, so let's see the two Henrys pair up and see which one's the faster car. Thank you.
Ted Wagena Jr. and uh, we're here at Pink's hoping to blow Rich out of the middle of the racetrack with a top fuel dragster and we're gonna make a uh, run 8,000 horsepower. We're gonna try and under, run under five seconds at over 300 miles an hour. If you're sitting in your car on the railroad tracks and a freight train hits you from behind at 250, 250 miles an hour, that's about what this thing feels like when I stand on the gas. I guarantee you, you have never seen, heard, or felt anything like this in your entire life. The car runs on nitromethane and it's in our blood, so there's nothing we can do about it. We're hooked and we just gotta keep going any way it takes. Kind of pink's all out and I'm gonna make my very first quarter mile run. This screaming's a this legal street car. It's a 420 inch AMC 401 stroked out, runs on 93 octane pump gas, all motor. It's got a power glide transmission, nine inch Ford, 430 gear. I never ran it in the quarter. It runs 660s and an eight at 104. That's my first time here. I've, I just want to see what it's like. Hopefully, win some money. We're a husband and wife team. We've been racing for 25 years. And here we are getting the opportunity to race each other for the first time in all those years. 1923 Ford T-Bucket, small block Chevy, 406. It runs 960s and about 132. It's a 2004 Chrysler Prowler, altered, 140 inch wheelbase, 555 inch alcohol injected, big block Chevrolet. I think I'm gonna let her leave first and chase her. We'll see who crosses the finish line first. sit there and hang on for the ride. Plenty cars are typically uh, hard to handle, but uh, you know, it's a fun time. When Pontiac was in racing in its heyday in NASCAR, they beat everybody. Just a fantastic car. What are you gonna do with the cash if you win? Give it to my wife. We'll start another engine. Her husband, a uh, guy that's helping my boyfriend with this car, uh, announced on national TV that if he won the $10,000, he was gonna buy me boobs. Uh, I got a wife and three kids, so I think it's going to her. Build some more engines. But I'm gonna let him give it to me. <laughs> buy some groceries on the way home and my little grocery getter. My dad's gonna win $10,000 and give it to me. Whatever she wants. <laughs> I'm paying the IRS. We'll probably take her kids on a trip. Build an eight-second nitrous motor. She's gonna buy boobs also. Pay off the Camaro. <laughs> so I get to put the kitchen cabinets and the floor in. My wife will get the money. Pay off some people that kind of helped me get here today and uh, give some to my wife. Build another motor for my car. And uh, build me a new chassis. Bigger motor, new paint job. I'm getting a boob job. <laughs> Looking all shiny and silver in the right-hand lane is a 66 Dodge Cornette. You don't see a whole lot of those. I built a 60s super stock style car because growing up, that's what my dad had around. It's what we always watched, what we always saw pictures of. Um, it's what I dreamed and wanted since I was a little kid. It's a 499 cubic inch big block Chrysler. Had it for about 13 years. Done everything on it, turned every bolt on it. It's not your Mustang, that's for sure, to drive down the track. It's a definitely different ride, a different feel. Um, it's not your not your daily driver, for sure. We went to Pink's All Out of Bristol. It's great, love the atmosphere. Racing in front of the crowd. It's just it's a great time. We want to try again to get in the show. Hi, I'm George French, and I'm here to race the alcohol funny car to Pink's All Out, adding a little different flavor to the show. I'm Paul Molnar. I drive this alcohol funny car, 2,500 horsepower, traveled a quarter mile in under six seconds at over uh, 230 miles an hour. It's very exhilarating. There's a lot of things that go on in the car. You just don't sit there and hang on for the ride. Funny cars are typically uh, hard to handle, but uh, you know, it's a fun time. This is an awesome event because it's not just a drag race, it's a little bit of everything. We've got rock climbing and people and fans and kids. As you can see, there's probably gonna be 20,000 people here today to see the show. It's very popular, it's just a great deal. Little GTO, you're really looking fine. 
loving all those vintage Pontiacs here at Pigs All Out. I fell in love with Pontiacs back in the 80s. A friend of mine had one that was real fast and it impressed me and it was something different. And I started looking for a GTO. When Pontiac was in racing in its heyday in NASCAR, they beat everybody. And then uh, when Pontiac backed out of racing, uh, I stayed with them. Yeah, just a fantastic car. A lot of fun to drive. Uh, enjoyed a lot. Used to drive it on the street uh, for years. Drove it over 100,000 miles myself. Well, I found it on the internet. A little car lot there had a lot of classic cars, and they had this GTO sitting in there. They said it had been sitting there for two years. Nobody would buy it because it didn't have AC in it. I had an 87 Monte Carlo SS and 600 bucks, and I came home with a car. Come on, turn on, wind it up, blow it out, GTO. We've had a lot of people uh, coming through the pits and taking pictures and uh, giving me very nice comments. So it, that makes all the work worth it. You don't see many at the tracks anymore. And the track managers usually ask you to come back all the time. And uh, it's nice to have a rare car. Tonight, when the fans see me race, they're going to see me outrun a few men. We're doing an exhibition out here for paints. We're going to go out and make some hits. We're going to try to go out there and lay down a, a good lap and uh, give them some good side-by-side -side heads up, quick eight racing. I really enjoy uh, drag racing. My family's been involved with it in 51 years. When my father retired, he asked me if I wanted to drive, and I jumped at the chance. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Most people I've ever raced in front of. I'm looking forward to doing a good long burnout for you. We love uh, the Pro Mod racing because it's a heads up, no breakout, first one to the finish line wins. It's a lot like Pink's All Out. versus Chicago, so this should be a good one, and I plan on taking the win back to New Jersey. My wife got upset because I sold her challenger to finance this car, and she didn't have a hot rod anymore. to a regular door car that you can drive on the street. Fast cars, a lot of good times. I think it's a great opportunity, you know, to showcase everybody's cars here, you know, and, uh, and win some money. Don't zoom in. <laughs> well, watch it every night. Paints all out. <laughs> The starting line is a blast from the past, Pink's All Out style. To be here at Pink's All Out, I mean, you're going to see some beautiful Camaros, Novas, Anglias. I mean, this car is just so unique. You don't, you don't see 1930 cars. The car's 80 years old. It's a 1930 Model A, five-window coupe. It's a blown 468, automatic. I took everything that I didn't want off the car, all the original parts, and sold them to a Model A restoration club, and basically just kept the body, and we handmade everything else. Ed Hopkins, that 30 coupe, making a great pass, 10.62 at 125. We showed it for two years and kind of got tired of the shows and brought it down to see how fast it was and never left. My wife got upset because I sold her Challenger to finance those cars. She didn't have a hot rod anymore. Get ready for a supersonic battle of the sexes here at Pink's All Out. I've raced uh, Queen of Diamonds numerous times before through the years. This is a new driver this year. She's a great lady. I met her, and uh, but I still intend to beat her down the racetrack. The race is going to be New Jersey versus Chicago, so this should be a good one, and I plan on taking the win back to New Jersey. We'll be going around 300 miles an hour in about 5.12 seconds. It's an incredible experience. It's almost a feeling of weightlessness as you go down the track. Your, your feet are just floating in the air. It's incredible. 
it's pure drag racing, head to head, light turns green, two cars going on the racetrack, and it's 300 mile an hour jet dragster side by side. Find out how you can be part of the next exciting Pink's All Out Race. Just log on to www.speedtv.com, keyword Pink's. We're looking forward to seeing you there.